Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin back on the Corn School. I'm at Mount Bridges, Ontario today, catching up with Dale Cowan from Agris Cooperative. Sir, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Bernard. Good to see you. Boy, we picked a good Ooh. weather, don't we? We do. Uh, not raining today, which is good. That's but uh, a big story, obviously, a part of the conversation today. Hey, what I want to talk about is this field. Yeah. And uh, how you use, you know, digital data. Um, yeah to manage a field like this. I mean, a lot of farmers are doing research in, you know, on farm trials. You say it's pretty easy to do it once you have a relationship with your grower and you know the field. How does that start with you guys? Yeah, so you, obviously you need a system to be able to handle the volume and variety and velocity of data that comes at you in a mobile connected world. So we've made that investment, but basically there's a foundational structure that you gotta have. As for us, we have customers, they have farms, farms have fields. Fields absolutely have to have a geo-referenced GPS derived boundary. And once you have that, you can collect, connect all the data that comes from farm equipment, like a planter map, sprayer, harvest maps for us it's uh, it's recommendation maps as applied maps so you start connecting and that's a place to store analyze archive data mm -hmm. and that's really the basis uh, for to make some of those fundamental decisions about how products perform on your field under your conditions so it gets to be when you we have when you deal with people that are connected in that way it gets kind of easily and painless to do trial work yeah now you're connected to this farm yeah. and you've got some nice setup here uh, this year talk about uh, what you've done here and how this is set up especially from a nitrogen perspective yeah so we're using a program uh, this year uh, called adapt in from Yara and that starts with uh, using their cloud-based system. You, you enter a field boundary, mm -hmm. and that uh, geo-references a field, and that picks up 35 years of weather data that goes with that field. And it's a model that tracks nitrogen status of the field all year long. So you have to enter in some soil sample data, a yield map to help create management zones. Uh, the soil classification, uh, soil types get picked up, so it gives you uh, an idea of the drainage class of the soil. And they use that in a number of ways in the model. And you put in your planting date and your relative maturity, and it'll do, uh, produce a nitrogen recommendation. But the big thing is, on a daily basis, it tracks the nitrogen status of the field. It's nice. What's the plant taken up? How much nitrogen is left? And if the model feels you're going to run out of nitrogen, it'll actually make a recommendation, even on a site-specific basis. And it'll show you a map of where to put the extra nitrogen if you're so inclined yeah. to think you want to do that. So, so as with any model, you should have some critical thinking skills. You just don't accept uh, something from a computer mm -hmm. without thinking a little bit about it. So it's really interesting for me for the first time to see on a daily basis what, how much nitrogen changes yeah. in the field, where it changes in the field and uh, you know looking at uh, right now this crop is at v17 growth stage and it's just for the first time picked up 100 pounds of nitrogen oh. so we put on 193 so there's some more to go so we're looking for 212 pounds of hand on our yield goal at harvest time so from vt stage to our set we're going to pick up another 84 pounds of nitrogen or hopefully we do yeah. to get towards our yield goal so that's that's the interesting feedback uh, loop that you get with this program it, it just tells you the nitrogen status almost every day and now really easy to set up you say basically you're driving through here you're dropping blocks yep. setting up a field you know uh, pretty simple to set up once you've had you have that data set yeah I, I have 10 years of data off this field of yield maps so what i did is i uh, I looked at the elevation map and I wanted to drop uh, check blocks of low end rate and rather than run a strip the full length of the field and have it look terrible all year long because it's only got 40 pounds of end on, I strategically placed blocks on top of hills, side slopes and low slopes, put the normal end around it and so it was pretty easy to do. I dropped pins on a map and uh, my nephew's running the applicator. When he came up to the pin, he shut the applicator off for 200 feet and turned it back on. Yeah. So it was no fuss, no muss. I did it all from my chair in my office, and he did it from the tractor cab. Yeah. And we're, when we're standing in the turn off, right? Yeah, we're standing, uh, you know, back there a little bit is yeah. kind of where it started, and it's getting towards the end here. And what's really interesting, at 40 pounds a hand, not all the corn short and yellow. So there's obviously some native nitrogen supply mm -hmm. beyond the 40 pounds. That's kicking up as being picked up and, and so it's kind of interesting to see the subtle variance in soil conditions that generate uh, mineralized nitrogen. Yeah, great way to manage this crop, this field yeah. through the season. Um, Dale, also a great way for, for growers if you know they want to sort of test new products in the farm uh, in the field. Oh well, yeah, yeah. So once you have a, an as applied technology on board in the applicator, so we have another site where we uh, tested a product called Biopath, which is a bacillus that's supposed to uh, help uh, uh, free up bound up nutrients uh, through the, throughout the year. It's called a plant uh, 
a plant growth promoting rhizobacter and uh, so to put that to the test you could split a field but what we did is we loaded up the applicator with enough product and we did every other pass across 50 acres and then we came back in between the straight 28 percent so now i've got 24 check blocks oh. every other pass across the field and it's on different soil textures different topography different nutrient values so if these things are going to leave you abiotic stress you got an opportunity to show us something you're going to show you what they're made of final question for you dale um how important is it for growers to adopt this type of technology. I mean, you can get in-season management information. You can manage this crop really well. Yeah, you certainly, uh, that's currently up to the individual how, how far and how deep you want to go. And we have customers at varying levels of technology. Uh, some are fully integrated. Others have one or two pieces of equipment, like a, a yield monitor, for example. And some are moving into having their whole system integrated with being able to capture applied data. So, and then I'm being willing to share with service providers like myself mm -hmm. to, to get some help. So. Uh, uh, yeah, so if, if you're inclined to want to do that testing and you've got the technology set up, uh, it's a pretty easy thing to implement uh, using using some of the tools and the data you've already captured. Yeah. It, it's not a huge cost once you got the data captured. Well, exactly. People always say, hey, i got all this data. What can I do with it? Well, here's a perfect example. Perfect right? example. Per perfect example. Dale Cowan here with me on the Corn School, sir. Always great to have you. Always appreciate your insight. Always fun to be with you, Vern. Yes.